This is an example that I have shown you in the PowerPoint, and I'm going to now show you how I calculated the least square method. As I have mentioned, I don't expect you to do this on your own because we will use the regression function within the data analysis. It's good for you to know where the values in the output is coming from, mainly the slope and the intercept for the regression line. So I'm going to show you with the formulas that you see how I can calculate the slope as well as the intercept. So I'm going to copy my x values down below, and I'm going to do the same thing for the y values. So x is my population and it's being used to predict the y, which is the annual sales in the store. So this column is going to be in x times y. So it's simply this cell multiplied by this cell. And you really don't need to repeat this over and over again. And I'm going to just use the crosshair again and double click because even though I can drag this, if I had thousands of data, that's not really the most efficient way. So I'm just going to do this and it will populate everything for you. And then the next column is just the x square, which is just this value raised to the power of 2. So once again, I can just do this and I will get all the values um, populated here. Now that I have this, I can calculate the sum for every column. So right here is going to be the sum of x's. And once I have this, I can drag this and I would get values for sum of y's, sum of x's times y's, and sum of x squares. So as you can see for the equation for B1, I would need to have the value of SSXY and SS of XX. These are sum of squares in order for me to take the ratio and find B1. The equation for sum of squares of X's times Y's, which is SSXY, is equal to parentheses, sum of squares of XY's, this value, minus sum of X's multiplied by sum of Y's, divided by n. And in this case, n is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 stores. And this will be the value for SS of XY. Then SS of XX is, as you can see in the equation, sum of X squares. So that's this value minus sum of X's that are now raised to the power of 2 divided by 8. Now B1 is simply, as you can see in the equation, this value divided by this value. And B0 is the average of Y values. So I'm going to take the average here minus B1, which we just calculated, times the average of, and that would be our equation. So if I now use this value, our equation is y hat is negative 283.09 plus 66.945x. If I say my x value is 12, then my regression equation will return the value of this intercept plus the value that I want to predict times C1, the slope, and it's 520. So if I open up a store somewhere that has 12,000 people living nearby, I expect to sell $520,000 worth of annual sales.